I, uh, everyone had some good things that they did quite well and some other things that they can learn from. So I will share uh, a little bit about on, uh, give some feedback on Sherry's speech, uh, Quan's and Douglas as well, three of you, and then a couple other comments possibly. But uh, Sheree, not Sherry. <laughs> Sheree. Uh, Sheree, right? Everybody say with me, Sheree. 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 One more time, Sheree. Sheree. <laughs> good, good. Language diary, right? Yeah. Her name was neglected. Yes, it was. Good job. Uh, the first thing that, uh, that I have for you was you said uh, diehard fans, right? Talking about fans of uh, probably either Hello Kitty or Dorinda. And so, everyone, die hard. Die. Uh, that's a very good usage of, of the language. Die hard means to be very, it's an adjective, and it means to be very committed to something, and usually it means to, to, be, very, to, to be passionate as well about something. So, some people here are die hard uh, Toastmasters fans, right? BTS Woo! fans, and they're here every week. Yes. And, uh, you know, other people, like whatever hobby you have, if you're really into it, enthusiastic, you can say, I'm, I'm a die hard, blah, blah, blah fan. Or enthusiast. So very good there. Uh, another word she used that was quite good is uh, the word ambiguous. Uh, I'll just write down a couple words for you. First one, die hard. Next one here is ambiguous. Good job with that word. Uh, so that basically this means it's something is unclear as to whether it's A or B. So for example, if you meet someone and you ask them, what do you think about the President Trump? And then they give you, an, they give you a, a response, you are like, I still don't know if he's a Republican or a Democrat. So <laughs> that response might be a little bit uh, ambiguous, or you don't know if it's the person's one, one way or the other. Uh, one suggestion I have for you is, maybe this is not that important, but Pikachu. You guys know Pikachu? Yeah, yeah Pikachu. Uh, in, in America, in American English, we say Pikachu. Everyone say with me, Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> and Sheree, uh, you said uh, uh, you said Pikachu, but it's, it should be emphasized on the second syllable, which is uh, which, on the first syllable, which is Pikachu. There you go. <laughs> okay, so very good job there. <laughs> uh, another thing you said was Doraemon encourage us. So when we're talking about someone else, you want to add an S usually. Doraemon encourages, encourages us. So when he says he, he encourages, she encourages, I encourage, right? So if it's someone else, you usually add an S. So a couple suggestions for you there. And then Quan. Uh, Quan, we have uh, a couple of phrases you use that were pretty good. First one is cracking jokes, okay? So when you tell a joke in English, we often say crack, C-R-A-C-K, crack a joke. That's a very good uh, phrase when you talk about telling jokes. Another, another phrase he used was uh, a leap of faith. And so faith is basically believing in something that you cannot see. And a leap of faith is a little bit like another phrase, which is a step of faith. And you take a step uh, or a leap. You can use either one, a step of faith or a leap of faith, to mean that you did something uh, in faith. Uh, Douglas, uh, you have a few uh, pretty good ones. The first one you said was tight deadline, a tight deadline. So a tight deadline is a deadline where you don't have a lot of space to waste time and you don't have a lot of space to mess up. So tight, something's coming quickly. You need to, you need to uh, take care of something very quickly. Uh, another one is, uh, another phrase Douglas uses, allied forces. This word, allied. Okay, this is uh, used as an adjective. You can also uh, use this as a noun. An ally is your friend. So allied forces, allied military forces, is forces that are on our side, uh, that are our friends. Uh, and I have a couple uh, here from other speakers. Darren, um, you said the word section, I believe. Section. That's my, this is my section. Uh, in this case, we would want to say session. I believe you were trying to say session. It's S-E-S-S-I-O-N. Or you could say my, that's my part. Uh, and we have 
uh, this word genre, uh, when I think it was from Darren when Darren was speaking, he used the word genre. I think I heard someone in the, in the audience say genre with a J sound, but this is a sound from French, and it's like this. Not j, it's j. Everyone say, say with me. Genre. Good. And this is basically a category or a type of art. So if you want to say what kind of pizza you can, do you like, you can say that. If you want to say what kind of music do you like, you can say genre. What kind of movie do you like, you can say genre. Good job, everyone. Thank you.